Welcome back to Broken Knights Games, my name is Sam and today we're going to be making a mini map for a top down game. So you may recall from one of my previous videos we made a top down character mover. So we're going to be adding to that now by creating a mini map for that character. So we're going to have an icon for the character and we're going to add little objectives on the map that you can see as the character moves closer to things. And we're going to be doing this by using a second camera and a render texture. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I post a regular game dev related video every other Friday. All right, let's get going. So to get started using this mini map, I'm using this texture that I found on opengameart.org by Kindland. Um, it's like a mini map uh, with some layers. You can download the Photoshop file, um, which I did, and you can um, enable and disable all of these layers. So I exported a couple of these to use for our mini map. And then if we go back into Unity, back to the top down mover example, I'm gonna do a couple things. So what I did is I rearranged the camera so that it's doing a top down look view. So if you look in the game view, you can see that. And if I hit play, if you remember from my previous video, I can move around and the character moves and turns. So what we're gonna do now is gonna, we're gonna add a mini map to this view. So how we're gonna do this is by using a second camera and a render texture. This isn't gonna be the most performant way to do a mini map, but it will work. And there's a couple things we can do to make it not um, use up so much performance. So we're gonna do this by creating a render texture. So I have one already created called Minimap Render Texture, but you can create one by just right clicking on Assets, Create, and then selecting Render Texture. And what this will do is, what this is, is it's a texture that will output what a camera is seeing. So I'm gonna delete that because I already have one made. So I have this Minimap Render Texture. Uh, so it sets the size 256 by 256, which is fine for what we're doing. And then next, we're going to need a second camera to render our minimap view. So I'm going to create a empty object and we'll call this minimap camera. And we're gonna add a component to it, a camera component. And we'll just choose a solid color for the background. And we'll just set the color to be black. And then we're gonna also gonna make the projection and we're gonna set it to orthographic. And then we're going to position our minimap camera so it's directly over our player. So if you think of how minimap views a player, it's from the top down. So I'm gonna go into top down mode and select ISO and we're just going to move that minimap camera so it's directly over our player and then I'm also going to rotate it 90 degrees you can see in the camera preview so we're looking directly down and now we're going to take that minimap camera and we're going to make it a child of our main camera so another thing I added on our main camera is this follow object movement script so that'll also be included. Uh, it's just a very simple script that updates the transform of the object you add it to uh, to follow a certain object. So I added that to the main camera so that when I move around, um, that camera will follow him. All right, so now we have our mini map camera in place. Um, we're going to select on the camera, target texture, and right now it's set to non render texture. So we're going to drag our minimap texture into there. So now if we go to game view, we're using our main camera view and our minimap will be using our render texture output. So now we need to actually see our minimap. So we're going to add a UI component. We're gonna add a canvas. All right, in the canvas, we're gonna set it to screen space overlay, that's fine. And now we're going to add under UI, raw image. And then in our raw image, we can just drag our, mi our minimap render texture to the texture field. And you can see we're outputting uh, what our camera's seeing. So this is a little small and it's in the middle of the screen. So we'll, uh, we'll put this in the lower right hand corner. 
So I'm just going to go to our scene view, hit F, go to isometric mode, and we'll just position this, and we'll also make it bigger. We'll do 150. Negative 150 by 150. Okay. So now if we go in our game view and we'll hit play, we see him moving around and we have our character. Um, it's not much of a mini map yet, but we'll get to that. So now we want to add our decoration around it. So let's create another UI element and we'll select image and we'll call this decoration. And then for the source image, we're going to use our Ronin game mini map. So I'm going to drag that into the source image field. And you can see it's a little skewed. So we're gonna use preserve aspect to make it a perfect circle. And then we can also position this and we're going to make it bigger. So we're just going to position this roughly inside this circle here. Uh, and that looks fine. Okay. So now we want to make the map not appear behind this so that it's just the circle. So what we're going to do is use a UI mask. So I created a sprite that's just a solid black circle. Um, and we're gonna use this as a mask. So what I'm gonna do is create another UI image. And we'll call this mask. And we're gonna drag our mask sprite there and preserve aspect to make it a perfect circle. And we're gonna also set this to be the lower left-hand corner for anchor point. Our decoration we should also set to the lower right-hand corner. And then our mask we're going to drag in and we're gonna resize it to be about the size of our decoration. Okay, now we're going to drag our mask to the top of the children of the canvas and we're going to drag the raw image uh, which we should rename to be our mini map render texture we're going to make mini map render texture a child of the mask and then on the mask we're going to add a component we're going to add type in mask we're going to add mask and you can see that it'll mask everything that's not within that circle. Okay, so let's see how this looks um, in our game view. All right, so nothing's really changed, but we have uh, some nicer decoration. You can see our character from the top. So now how do we make this actually work like a mini map that you see in a game? So we're gonna also um, render certain things on layers. If we go to our scene view, And we have our character. <clears throat> so right now our, our minimap camera is rendering everything. Um, we don't necessarily want to do that. So, um, so we're going to create another layer. So we're going to click on layers up here and say edit layers. And we're going to create a new layer called minimap. And then on our minimap camera, we're going to select on the culling mask. We're going to select from everything to nothing and then select just minimap. So we're only rendering our minimap. So now if we look at our game view, we'll see that everything is dark. All right, so now on our player object, I have a couple other sprites. So we have this minimap player sprite and I also have a quest sprite for like an objective. So what we're gonna do is just add this sprite to our player. So on our character prefab, 
I'm just going to create empty and we'll call this mini map icons. And then on this layer, we're going to set this to be the mini map layer. And then in our mini map icons, we're going to add a 2D object sprite. And then we're going to add our mini map player sprite. You can't really see it because it's pointing up. So what we're going to do is just rotate this on the X axis 90 degrees. So if we go to our game view, we can see our little uh, character guy here, our little player icon. Um, and then we're gonna also, so we'll name this player icon. And then our, back in our scene view, we're just gonna make this bigger. Maybe change the size of that. I'll pin our game view down here so we can see what's going on. When I, character minimap icons, player icon, I'm just gonna change the size of this. Okay, so now we have our character icon and that looks about right for the size. So now if we go into play and hit game view, I move around and you can see as I rotate the icon rotates as well. It's not quite rotating right um, on the pivot point, so we'll have to move it forward a little bit. And also, obviously, we can see this here, which is what we don't want. So, I'll just go back to the player icon and we will move this forward so it rotates more on our pivot. And then, so remember, we put this layer on the minimap and we told the minimap camera to only render things on the minimap. So now we also have to tell our main camera to only render things not on the minimap. So under layer, so under our calling mask, we're going to select everything except for minimap. And you can see that this goes away now. And then also, and if you're in the inspector and you don't want to see the minimap icons, um, you can always just uh, disable the view if you're using Unity 2019. I believe it's point one they added this feature. You can just toggle this view if you don't want to see that in the inspector. Okay, so now we have our minimap character icon and we have our character. And you can see now when I move around, the icon rotates with my character and it's no longer visible. So now what if we want to add some other things like a quest? So maybe we'll want to put a quest icon here. So how would we do that? just like we do with the character. Let's create a empty object and call this map icons. And we'll create an empty and call this quest. Let's also reset the transform on our map icons. And then on quest, we're gonna add a sprite renderer. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees and then we're also going to drag in our minimap, our minimap quest icon. So you can see it's pretty small, so I'm going to make this bigger. And I'll just move this in view of my player so you can see what it looks like on the map. Um, and it's not showing up because we need to make this on the minimap layer, yes, change children. Okay, so now we can see our quest icon and we're going to make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're gonna move this quest icon over by these rocks. You can see it's in the hill, but that's okay um, because we're not rendering the hill on the other camera. So as I come over here, You can see our quest icon. So you notice it's a little darker here. Um, that's because our sprite has this dark spot here. So I um, actually don't like the way that looks because of how we're doing this. Um, 
other ways you do the minimap that would, could work perfectly fine. But what I'm gonna do is just our minimap circle, I'm gonna disable the ellipse and re-export this. And now you can see uh, our sprites are glowing up like they should. And there's our quest. All right. So there you have it. Very simple mini map. Um, something to start with. Uh, you can definitely play around with it more and try out some different things but this is just one approach to minimap um, like I said it's not the most performant way but uh, it's something that you can do quick to get something up and running and then so for just some extra credit here if you ever want to adjust things with this minimap you can like if you want to zoom out the camera and see more on the map you would do that with the main minimap camera under orthographic this size property I have this in the inspector here you can see what happens when I increase this it makes the box bigger so essentially I can see more um, and then you can see it makes the icon smaller on the map so if you do increase the size you're gonna have to also increase the size of those as well and also make the size bigger on my player icon so you have to play around with it um, and get it to where you like it for the size of your map um, and then you could also build in a, a script to zoom in and out on the mini map where you're changing this this orthographic camera size property and maybe you could have the script also update everything that's on the mini map layer size by that factor so everything scales consistently to an, to an extent it's just an idea but um, I will save this and upload these tweaks also to the repo so you can download this and see how I have it all set up so there you have it it's a pretty quick video uh, where I show how to make a mini map um, if you liked it give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these videos subscribe to my channel um, also if you have any ideas or topics that you'd like to see me cover unity or programming related uh, just leave a comment below and let me know about that and we'll see what we can do about that and as always thanks for watching I'll catch you later bye